Right now is a spiritual, for God's few elect, few elect. Are you listening to me? For God's few elect. I'm going to come back here in just a minute, but I'm going just for a minute and read one scripture. Even when I heard this, this chapter today, I, I shook. Matthew 24, but I'm not preaching on Matthew 24 tonight. Just one scripture. Matthew 24, 31. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other, he shall gather his elect. I'm going to tell you some children of God, this famine that we're in, God's fixing together his elect. His elect from one end, one end of the earth, one end of the heavens. In, an, in another place in Mark 13, it said that. It said from one end of the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Right now, there's been a famine, a spiritual famine. People's out there, their bones are protruding. They're not seeking after the Lord. They're not seeking after truth. There was a little paper that had blew up on, on, on front of my, my walk today. And, and I stopped, and I'd been out in the yard, and I walked up there, and I read it. And it was that scripture that says, Whosoever be that forsakes not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. And I just smiled. I didn't even pick it up. Kept walking. Hallelujah. I hope the next person that walks by reads it too. I want to tell you something. If we don't forsake everything that we got, we ain't going to be his disciple. He's fixing to send some corn into the land of famine. He's fixing to send some oil. Hallelujah. Some spiritual wine. And put some mead on these thin kinds. Hallelujah. And my God, we got to reach out. we got to receive the word of the Lord. we got to believe. The Bible said believe. Hallelujah. To believe in his prophets and so shall you be established. People don't believe in nothing anymore. Joseph had went through all that of being sold and everything that happened to him. But he ended over up there. And after he went, he interpreted and told that king. Pharaoh, everything that was fixing to happen. Let me show you what he said. After he told him that, in verse 38, the 41st chapter of Genesis, said, And Pharaoh said unto his servants, Can we find such a one as this, as this is, a man in whom the Spirit of God is? And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, For as much as God has showed thee all this, there is none so discreet and wise as thou art. Thou shalt be over my house. And according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled. Only in the throne will I be greater than thou. How many of you heard that tonight? Thank you, Jesus. There he was. He'd been in the hole. He'd been in the dungeon. Thank you, Jesus. And my God, now he's got the king looking at him and telling him that there ain't going to be nobody, Joseph, any greater than you are. I'm going to tell you something. God's fixing to set his people up as kings and priests unto him. Hallelujah. But they're not going to go around, like I said one night, with big crowns on their head. They're just going to be little humble servants of God. Hallelujah. It's going to find a place of prayer, a place of fasting, a place of seeking the face of God and crying out to the Lord. God's fixing to change things around like he did for Joseph. He's fixing to change things around for some of his people. And he, right, that's why I went to Matthew 24 and said he's fixing to gather his elect from one wind. Hallelujah. From the four winds. And, and you know the wind's fixing to blow. Hallelujah. The natural and the wind's fixing to blow in the spiritual. Hallelujah. There's going to be a big wind and God is fixing to bring his people together. I said he's fixing to bring his people Together, it's going to bond that bride. I'm going to tell you what happened next. Joseph, that king put Joseph over everything. And they began to gather into corn. Verse 42 said, Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I've heard there's corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy 
for us from sense that we may live and not die. Joseph's ten brothers went down to buy corn in Egypt. Hallelujah. Right over there, one of the next verses. You know, Joseph shook them up a little bit, Brother Campbell. They got over there, and they didn't recognize Joseph, but he recognized them. In fact, he recognized them, and he went off, and he wept. And he bawled, and he got his composure back. And he come back out there, and he roughed them up a little bit. And you know what happened? He come, oh, my God, it is. I don't know why. I'll tell you what happened. It came to, his dream come to pass. They got down. Just like when he said he saw the sheep standing up and, and did obeisance. And that his brethren was doing obeisance. Will his dream come to pass? All them years later. Hallelujah. After he'd been in the dungeon. And after he'd been in the hole. And my God, after everything had happened to him. I want you to know that his brothers got down. And before it was over. Hallelujah. Even Jacob, my God, I want you to know, told his brother, he said, go over there and buy. Why set we here and die? And they all went. And I'm going to tell you what happened even before it was really over. Joseph made himself known to his brother. Hallelujah. God's fixing to make his people known. He's fixing to make his people known. They're going to look and they're going to know. And they're going to remember. Hallelujah. I said they're going to know. And they're going to remember. Because God is going to make them known again. Hallelujah. And I want you to know. That they came back another time. And Joseph went in and they knew him. And boy they really got scared then. Hallelujah. But Joseph hugged them. And they, he kept, you know he kept sinning. And he wanted his younger brother. And they didn't, his daddy didn't want him to take the younger brother over there. He said, I've lost Joseph. He said, now you're going to take Benjamin over there. And said, surely some evil is going to befall him. And he said, my old gray hair is going to go to my grave with much sorrow. Hallelujah. And they begged him, Joseph, don't make this. Go get Benjamin. Joseph wouldn't leave it alone. He said, go get Benjamin. He said, I want to see Benjamin. Hallelujah. This boy revealed himself. And he had to go get that youngest brother. And he brought him over there. And my God, when Joseph saw him, he went out and he cried again. I want you to know they're going to be a great returning. They're going to be a coming together of God's true people. They're going to be a coming together. Hallelujah. Just like there was. We might be living in, in like the dream of Joseph when the cattle is, is lean. And, and it looks like every spiritual thing is so lean that you can't even get a morsel of meat. But God is fixing to bring people together one more time. Hallelujah. One more time. One more time. God's fixing to bring people together. Hallelujah. When the Lord brings again Zion. A watchman's going to see eye to eye. Going to bring them together. Just like he brought Joseph and his brethren. Finally, after he revealed himself to his brethren. Hallelujah. He told his brothers, he said, Go bring your father. Go get your father. Come on, go get him. Oh! Hallelujah. Some of them's coming back. Some of them's coming back. He said, go get your father, Joseph. And they went over there and they said, my God, Daddy, you ain't going to believe this. But Joseph is ruler over all of Egypt. And said, he's sending for you, Daddy. Said, he's sending for you. Now come on, gather up everything. Said, he's going to take care of us. In this famine. And I want you to know children of God. There's coming a time. That people's walked away from truth. And they're going to turn back to truth. Because they're going to know. That a woman or a man of God. Has stood for truth and not walked away. And that's what I said about keeping this door. Open for truth. My God let's don't let it go. They're scattered out somewhere. My God let's don't let it go. Because there's coming an hour. And to bring people together like he did Joseph back to his brothers. It's falling. Oh, do not wait. It's growing late. Behold the fields, they're white. It's harvest time. Now, when I stand. Before my maker and give account for what I've done, my eyes on him, he'll say unto me, well done, my child, the crown of life. 